Fort William First Nation recently passed a new dog control bylaw. The local canines will no longer be allowed to roam free within the boundaries of the First Nation. Lee Noonan has the details. Canine residents of Fort William First Nation could soon be in hot water if they're caught running at large on the reserve. A new dog control bylaw was recently passed, which will require dog owners to register their furry companions with local animal control and keep them tied up or fenced in at all times. In the past, it wasn't unusual to see dogs running loose, according to Fort William Chief Michelle Solomon, but she says it's time to put a stop to it. They're becoming more and more populated in community, and the dogs becoming more populated in community. We see that, you know, there is risk of, uh, of harm with animals roaming free, both for animals and, and for people that are walking or biking through the community. Solomon says she's seen a very positive reaction from community members who've raised safety concerns for some time. It's one thing if there's a dog running loose, but when you have multiple dogs running loose and they're packing up, that becomes a really dangerous situation. Dog walkers will now be expected to use a leash and loose dogs will be impounded at the owner's expense. The bylaw also requires aggressive dogs to be muzzled and prohibits anyone from abandoning a dog or removing a dog from the community. We know that this has been a, a problem historically where dogs have been just dropped off in our community. Um, and also, you know, despite the fact that dogs uh, might not be tied up if they're out here, they probably do belong to somebody. Um, so we, we do ask that people don't pick dogs up in the community and take them into the city. The new rules are being gradually phased in with information sessions and registration opportunities planned over the coming months and a schedule of fees and penalties still to be determined. The bylaw should be fully implemented by the end of July. Lee Noonan, TBT News.